This video is part 7 of our 10 Countries in 10 Days series. Subscribe to keep up with our adventures and give us a like if you're enjoying the ride. Let's pick up back in Gdansk, Poland, where Nathan is about to learn where we're flying to next. We are going to Copenhagen, Denmark, baby. Yeah. We're going to Copenhagen. You buy some gloves? <laughs> I'm probably going to buy some gloves. I've been having cold hands these last few days. Going to Copenhagen. A short one hour and 15 minute flight took us to Copenhagen and the nicest hotel we had stayed at up to this point, and certainly the most striking from the outside. We took the train into the city and headed straight to St. Peter's Bakery, which had some great reviews. We are ready to begin our day here at this bakery with some delicious pastry and coffee. I already cheated and tasted the cinnamon one and it is so good. Yeah. In my opinion, better than the one we had in Stockholm, but it's all about the icing to me. That gives it that, what I'm used to as an American, that extra sweetness. I love that. I'm excited about this one because I, I love, I know they're not called Danishes here because this is Denmark, <laughs> but we call them Danishes in the U.S. I love Danishes. I can get any of the fruit, so I'm going to get to that. That is phenomenal. I think it's lemon, but I'm not sure. I think so. And I was like, when I sold the day, I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Those are for sure the best pastries I've had, on, I've had on this trip. So good. And the third one is an almond croissant, I believe. Croissant, croissant. sorry. Mm. Also good. It's a little bit charred here, so you get a little bit of a smoky taste. It's not overly charred, really good. Mm, they're all three good. I definitely like these better. All right, after some further tasting here. Oh, that's very sad. Uh, the cinnamon and this uh, other pastry uh, are the two best pastries I think I've ever had in my life. They are incredible. We did finally figure out this, this uh, yellow filling and this pastry is custard. At least we think it's custard. It tastes very, very much like a pastéis de nata from Lisbon, but in pastry form, custard or uh, Danish form. And it is arguably better than a pastéis de nata. They're so good. After that, we joined a free walking tour of the city. After that tour, we kept walking around taking in some of the sights. All right, so this gasoline grill, Jessica just told me uh, was made by a guy who was in the States and fell in love with cheeseburgers and decided we need to bring that back to Denmark. And this is apparently the best cheeseburger in Scandinavia, not just Denmark, in Scandinavia. 
grind their meat fresh every day. We saw this on a vid another YouTube video, so anxious to try it. Mmm. That is really it is really good. Mm-hmm. It's really well cooked. It's super good. It was worth it. And we get to see ice skating right next to us and, and sit on what I assume are reindeer pelts. Next up was the Danish Architectural Center, which had some interesting exhibits highlighting Danish contributions to architecture and design all over the world. Highlight was the slide that you take from the top of the museum back to the first floor. We couldn't leave Denmark without having a typical Danish meal, including smorbrod. We ended up at another bakery later that evening before we had to catch our flight to the next destination. All right, Jessica's trying her first pastry. Mm. Since you guys can't hear her, I'll tell you the noises she's making. Oh, you know what? I probably am supposed to use it for you. We're not Neanderthals here. Mmm, oh, that's good. Mmm, -hmm. mm, it's got chocolate mousse. I think it's got this crispy, I think they're hazelnut. Mmm, really good. Oh. The cream's good. It's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm, very light. I cut that one free. The other day I cut a piece of chicken off Jessica's plate because she said I could taste it. And then when I cut it, and by the time I grabbed my fork, she'd already taken that piece of chicken and eaten it. I was like, did you just take the piece of chicken that I cut for you? So this time you did cut a piece for me. Thank you. Wednesday, February 14th, flying from the great city of Copenhagen where we've spent an amazing day and we're going to... If you want to see where we go to next and what we do when we get there, subscribe and tune in to see the next video. Thanks for watching.